Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today. We have a cube minus a square equal to 18 and we need to find our a in this problem. How can we find it? Of course, there are a lot of methods how can we solve it because if we bring this 18 on the left, we will have a cube minus a square and minus 18 equal to zero. And this is our cube equation. We have a third power square and we don't have this first power, we, do, we have a constant, so it's still cube equation. There are a lot of methods how can you solve this cube equation, other real methods using formula, using different tricks, but I want to show you real quick my approach. So if you find the factors of this 18 real quick, what factors we know? We know plus minus one, we know plus minus two, we know plus minus three real quick, plus minus six, plus minus nine of course, and plus minus 18. On the first side, we need to check all these factors. We have a lot of factors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six times two. We have 12 factors. And if we check it all quick, uh, it not be quick, quick solution. But I want to show you how can we solve it. Let's check only positive one. If a equal to equal to one, what we will have? We will have one cube minus one square and minus 18. If we subtract or eat, we will have minus 18. So this is not equal to zero. Let's not check minus one. Let's check higher one. We will have a equal to two. We will have two cube minus two square and minus 18. As a result, we will have minus 14. So not equal to zero. But if you can see, we closely and closely get to, to zero. And it's really good. We have minus 18, minus 14, and we getting closer and closer. And then if you plug in a equal to three, we will have, we will have the next one, three cube, minus three square minus 18 equal to zero. Okay. And finally, 27 minus nine minus 18 equal to zero. And of course we find our, our first factor. So a minus three is a factor, is a factor. But of course we find the first factor. How can we find the second one? If we divide this expression by this factor, we will have the second one. Of course, let's do this. We have that our a minus three right here and right here we dividing it by by this one we will have a square a cube minus a square and minus 18. okay let's divide it firstly right here a square i divide it using my my own my own skill real quick a cube minus three a square of course with the parentheses if you subtract it, we will have 2a square plus 0a because we don't have it. Multiplying right here plus 2a. If we, if we multiply right here, we will have minus 2a square minus 6, 6a. And of course, the last step, multiplying by, by 6 plus 6. And of course, right here, we will have this 6a minus 18 and right here minus 6a minus 18. I try to, to divide it real quick. I do want to explain this method. I hope you everyone know this method. So I divide it real quick. So as a result, what factor we will have? a minus three times a square plus two a and plus six equal to zero. So finally, we factor our, our question and it's really good because right now we can easily write it that our a minus three equal to zero. From here, a equal to three real quick. And the second equation, a square plus two a plus six equal to zero. Of course, if we find our discriminant real quick, we will have four minus 24. So our discriminant will be minus 20. So right here, we will have negative discriminant. So we'll have two complex roots. Of course, in this video, we will solve completely all question right here. We have that our a first equal to three, a second and third, we find it real quick right now. And I want to show it how can we solve this quadratic equation. We have a square plus two a plus six equal to zero. So how can we find it? Of course, using our classic formula. So a second and third will have minus b minus two plus minus square root of negative 20 and dividing by by two factoring from here four we will have two right here dividing these two these two and these two we will have minus one plus minus 
i square root of 5. And as a result, we write this solution minus 1 plus minus i square root of 5. So this is our, our answer. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.